Hey everyone, this is Manly Bass here, and welcome back to Witch's Heart. Previously, we completed all the main episodes, and now we're on to the newly released bonus stage. Thank you for playing Witch's Heart bonus stage. And thank you very much for playing the previous game as well. Now executing the transfer process. Transferring, save, deleting, saves, purging computer. Be warned that post-transfer data cannot no longer be used in the previous game. That's why you copy and not cut. Now then, first things first. Please go through the golden door and claim your reward. Oh boy! I mean, oh boy! First off, we can put a new save over here. What do I win? I've been hoping for hope for a long time, but we never seem to get it. Is it unironically hope? No, it's a deep sea bubble. It's even better. An explanation of how to use the deep sea bubble. Equip the deep sea bubble. Oh, we can swim. Whoa. There should be new unknown worlds hidden in those depths. What are you waiting for? Elegant undersea journey. You can only be used in fantasy series. I would assume so. <laughs> I feel like that's pretty fantastical. Hey, what's up? I heard you're evil now. <laughs> Claire. Are you prepared? Well then, I'll tell you the usual. You're going to lose all memory of events after time you're returning to. One funny thing happens, if it's like a game like this where it's episodic, I have to remember how everyone sounds in my head. So I think, I think I'll get it the first try, we'll see. In particular, who killed you at the end? But as for us demons, you will remember just what's convenient. We just don't have the kind of time to introduce ourselves endlessly, you know. Ooh, new door. Alright, Claire. Good luck in the bonus stage. You can enter via that door. Was that a new art? Do you have any new outfits? You know what, never mind. It seems like it's fine. Bonus stage for us. Actually, you do have a new one. Let's go. I feel like a little despair right now. Claire Elford. Find the legendary witch's heart. That guy that no one likes. Loser Bradley. Williardo Adler. A loser in some rounds. Best character, Gibson. I like money, you know. No it's not Noel. Oh, here it comes Noel, but it wasn't part of the stars, see. Noel. No relation to the Blaze Blue character. Still not giving in. Gosh, I can't believe it. I'm hoping for entertaining conclusion. Well, but who knows if it's gonna end the way you want it, hmm? All the actors have assembled. Now, shall we begin? Bonus stage! 
Does she have the announcer from the 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 Gekki no Sugai comedy skits, like the, the don't laugh ones? It was another peaceful day in the Witch's Heart Mansion. Nobody dying, nobody being murdered. Huh? This is... Miss Claire! No one likes you, Ash. Uh, a Ash, catch him. Th to my surprise, someone calling himself the Lord of this mansion has appeared. He's in the dining room now. Let's assemble there. How about you just go jump off a window? Hmm? Who's this? Hello there. My name is Noel Levine. So there are more of you. If you don't mind, can I come with you to the dining room? Yes, of course. I don't mind. You'll all die anyway. Oh, and I'm loser, Bradley! <laughs> I mean, Ash. Catch him. I feel our meeting must be fate. You have my regards. Yes, you too. Now then, let's head to the dining room. How we just head to the window and throw you out of it? Well, imagine looks... Might be mostly the same from where we left off. Hey, there's a bunch of witches over there! No one invited you. Ah, hello, hello. This way, this way. <laughs> Good evening, I guess. Eh? Oh, I mean, oh, uh. oh, oh, oh. Wait, uh, who? Oh no, they're actors on the playboard. Oh, oh, oh. Judging from that reaction, could it be you two are familiar with Lime and her friends. Uh, Ash, you can see Lime and the others. Can I see them? What are you talking about, Miss Claire? Shut up, Ash. Er, so like... The Forfest girls were exploring... What we got lost and end up here... If she's saying four, and then... Best witch is somewhere across- There she is. Best witch. Ah, you finally showed up. We're glad to have escaped the rain. But now we can't leave the mansion. So in other words, let's stay. Please, seriously, serious. Stop that meme at once. Ha! Huh? That would be terrible, obviously. Why should I have to? And for free, no less. Besides, there clearly aren't enough spare rooms for this many people. Hmm, not enough. Well, how many spare rooms are there? Uh, uh... I believe it would be four. Ah, then everything's just fine. Are you gonna stay with us in our own rooms? That sounds safe and sound. We're super friendly, so we don't mind all staying in the same room, right? And also you there. With the light blew everything. Yes, you mean me. Yeah, 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 yeah. If it's okay with you, wanna stay in the same room as us? No! It'll be lots of fun. Er. Uh, um. What's the problem, Claire? You are friends with us, yes? Oh. Oh my, my, Miss Claire. So you do in fact know all these girls. This will be yet to be adjust my plans later when I go to murder you all. Yeah, yeah. 
We're friends, and real good ones. Come on, Claire. It's fine, right? Y yeah might be fine. <laughs> no, no, there's no way it's fine. There's mine, you bastards. Huh? Ah. Why would you object? If we say it's fine, then isn't it? Th that may be true, but... If I must inform you, there's only one bed per room, so... It's like a little... a little bit like a certain type of manga up in here. Yeah, yeah. There's only one, apparently. Oh, that's not a problem. We brought sleeping bags, so we'll let Claire have the bed. Oh, it's gonna be a, a regular old sleepover. F thank you very much. Yep, yep, it's decided. It'll be us five in one room. Now wait one second. Why are you acting like you're staying at all? Without paying, no less. Ah, oh, serious. You're so mean and serious. Stop that. You're really gonna turn your back on five poor... That's a word! Poor! Lovable maidens. You're the worst. Oh! <laughs> Oh, my chronic illness is acting up again. Ha! Huh? You're heartless, serious. Look how much you're begging. That's right. If Arsacel dies, it'll be all your fault. Y'all can just go and die. N no, wait. What's someone so sickly doing exploring the mountains anyway? It's true. The story is way too flimsy. Ah, <laughs> oh, I, I get it. You'll shut up if I let you stay, right? His patience got worn down. Yeah, <laughs> oh, thank you. If it's okay if I give you a smooch and the cheek is thanks. No! That costs money. And then you might get your poor germs on it. It would take weeks to wash it off. Please spare me. Hooray! More people in the matter. Thanks to the lady's persistence, now they have the place to stay. Yay! Okay, should we introduce ourselves again? I'm Lime. Yeah, <laughs> good to meet you. You can totally trust me. Charlotte, my hobby's collecting stuffed toys. <laughs> I'm Giselle. Get along well with me. Well, I suppose I should give my name. Rouge. Yay! Clap, clap, clap. I'm oddly saying clap, clap. Y you entertain because I'm saying uh, clap, clap audibly? Let's all get along together! Oh, my name is Ash, loser, Bradley. I already gave a detailed introduction earlier, so that's probably enough, yes? Sirius Gibson. Just don't bother me, alright? Unless it's to give me money. I can always use more money. Will Aldo Adler. The money thinks a running gag with that guy over there. Uh, Noel Levine. Hello. I'm Claire Elford. I hope we get along well. Well then. With introductions done, I suppose I'll show each of your own rooms. You five are in this room. But are you very sure? Yes! Why, why is Lime doing all the talking? What do we keep saying? It'll be fine. There's only one key, so someone needs to be the representative. Please don't get the Lime. Oh yeah, in that case, Claire. 
<laughs> Do take charge, Claire. Okay. You've gained a bunch of liabilities. Well then, we'll disperse for today. So, you're here to murder me, right? Maybe indirectly? What's the meaning of all this? Ah, uh, hold on a second, Claire. Um... Yay! Happy 999th! Huh? What is this? You've died. Many times over. As you can see, it's a 9,999th time! Nine thousand nine hundred nine nine. The nine thousand nine hundred nine nine one. That's how many continues you've used. You know, like you're playing a game and losing lives constantly. Take a hit, piggy. C continues. You're in a video game. Are you having existential crisis yet? In other words, Claire. Up to now, you've died a total of nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine times. Died. Uh, hold on a second. Sorry, but I have no idea what you're. Well, perhaps you may not understand it. But just swallow it for now, please. Basically, thanks to your sheer stupidity, the next one will be a nice round 10,000. The mansion's obviously getting more and more messed up. Soon, maybe you won't even able to die. Okay, now look at this. It's an album of your deaths, Claire. Oh boy! Oh, I remember that one. Oh, that one too. Oh man, I, I just, that, that one was amazing. What? What? It was unquestionably me picturing those countless photos. And I had a hollow gaze in every one. <laughs> and so, since we pity you, we're going to give you some tips for completing the witch's mansion. The tips? Yes. First, we'll tell you what you're missing. The ability to see through people. See through people? Yes. Claire, that personality of yours. Kind, positive, and quick to trust people. It's the worst possible fit. Look at that red text for this witch's mansion. They're saying you're dumb. Yes, indeed. So, Claire, could you take a look at this graph here? Ooh. Ooh. Sirius has got 137 kills on us. Were they just all the axe or just variations of the axe kill? What is this? Ash is taking the lead. Other, apparently other things have been killing us here and there. 4,583, This chart summarizes your cause of death up until now. Did you know that Ash Bradley is the leading cause of death of Claire's? That's a known statistic. C causes their death? Indeed. As you can see, you've been murdered by a human more than 70% of the time. M murdered Indeed. This is the result of your trust in others. Oh, why would this be? They killed me. Why would they do such a thing? The main reason is that you possess the witch's heart. Witch's heart? Registered trademark. You mean that famous storybook? 
No, I'm talking about the title, idiot. I mean, I mean, you know, the witch's heart. <sighs> I have to give you that one again. <sighs> I guess we have to explain from scratch. Charlotte and Lime, you handle this. Yes, ma'am. Er, so the witch's heart is. And that's what the witch's heart is. The witch's heart is something that can grant any wish? You can make anime real? Yes, yes, exactly. And this desire to make anime real causes everyone to murder you. My god. And you have it, Claire. I have it what, huh? But I don't have it. The witch's heart is inside your body. What? In my body? Which is to say, there's no way to get out without killing you. There are people in this mansion with wishes that they're willing to kill you for. W willing to kill me for? <laughs> hey, you know, Claire. You'll find that in any era, there are plenty plenty of people who commit murder that human taboo for their own desires besides isn't it humans who decide to make it a taboo so you see it's not all that uncommon and really nothing to be surprised about but ash willardo serious those free wood there's no way well, the morals of a human can easily crumble depending on the situation. Especially in the face of the witch's heart. And the desire to make anime real. There's no human without desires. There's no human without darkness. In our time, we've seen that. Enough to make our brains rot. Because of all this glare, we're giving you a special bonus. You got this mystery box! Ash Bradley. Are you giving me anti-Ash and Willardo gems? Willardo Adler. Sirius Gibson. We shall tell you their stories. Ooh, backstory. But they could get a little long. So starting tomorrow, okay? Yes, yes. How about we take it easy for today? Also, while you have a chance, perhaps you'd like to talk of the humans. Eh? Realize this, Claire. We're not necessarily telling you not to trust the others. If you want to survive in this witch's mansion, don't recklessly accept things as they are. Think a little. That's what we're saying. Or just kill them all yourself! Your trust is simply the abandonment of thinking. They may be a friendly person, but they're trying to deceive you, then. You must think, Claire. Even if that may not be your strong suit. Learn, if only a little, about them and about this witch's mansion. What sort of ending you'll desire and choose once you learn everything. This is what I want to see. Choose? Yes. Choose. Time to choose. Now. Let the bonus stage begin.